Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to do a review of the Hobbymate Elite Charger. Uh, doing some charging right now on this battery. It's got one cells kind of low. I'm actually seeing what it's uh, doing to get the job done and it's been trying to get all the cells balanced up here right now. Um, anyway, just wanted to give a review of this. This setup uh, at time of filming is about $40. Uh, it's from Amazon.com from Hobbymate. Uh, they sent this over for a review so I wanted to give a uh, give a trial and give my input on this thing. Um, it is a similar type programming uh, to some other uh, chargers that people have seen over the last couple years. This thing has got every option there is in the book. It comes with a manual. The manual is extremely thorough, goes over every single option, all the possibilities that this uh, charger has in it, and it has every capability that you can imagine. Uh, I'm very impressed for the dollar. Uh, its capability is limitless. It has got uh, everything from charge, discharge, um, timeouts. It's got a thermal input. You can actually thermal sense the battery. So if you were uh, wanted to put a thermal puck on here, it'll check to see if the battery runs away uh, during charging. Um, as most people know, never leave your batteries charging unattended. Be close. Be watching them. I always walk by and do a check on them temperature wise to see if anything's getting strange um, don't ever leave them alone for people that are new to the hobby that's who's this uh, this charger and power supply is targeting uh, pay attention to your lipos don't overcharge them don't over discharge them don't mischarge them the nice thing about this battery charger it does every type of battery there is in the book it, it even says right here on the on the top uh, lipos uh, lithium ion LIFEs it does uh, high voltage lithiums uh, nickel metal, nickel uh, NICADs, uh, lead acid, charges, discharges. Uh, like I said, it's got the balancing ports here on the side. It's got your output uh, power. Goes to a Dean's adapter, so you can charge Dean's uh, plug batteries. It's got an adapter that goes to XT60. Uh, so it literally does everything. It's also got an adapter that would plug into here. That's to plug into your lead acid battery, so you can charge that. This is also a field charger input so you can actually charge from a spare battery or from your car battery so you can actually charge at the field it does do one battery at a time so it balances one battery at a time it doesn't have as much as much power as you'd need if you were trying to put a balancer on there those balancers though in general are not very good because it does not monitor all cells independently of each battery that you would be charging so i recommend one battery at a time um, <clears throat> this balances every single cell independently as you can see there, it's monitoring every cell uh, to the millivolt uh, level and it's it's trying to get them all balanced, which is why it's taking time. I set this up at six amps on the first charge. With that bad cell, it powered everything up. It got everything charged up at 4.9 amps was its max uh, charge rate. And then as it came into balancing, it's now dropped to zero and it goes up to 0.2 amps because it's working through the balance process to get that one low cell work done. So it's kind of doing a safety charge now to make sure that that cell comes up to speed and it's not charging the other three that are already peaked out. So it's been running for a while. I'm going to run some other batteries through it. I would suspect that this thing will charge a lot faster if it has all cells that are, uh, are reacting properly. But that's nice to know that it's running a safety charge. That's actually a, a feature that uh, is great to have. Um, as I said, it comes with the manual and uh, you can learn everything you need in this manual. Custom programming, you can set it up to run uh, custom options, meaning you know exactly the cell type you're using. Uh, you're, you know exactly you're going to be running 6S packs or 4S packs. Um, you can set it up so as soon as you plug it in and start it, it runs. Uh, you can customize your charge rates, customize your discharge rates. It's got thermal, uh, like I said, sensing, so it'll peak out. If it senses something too hot, it'll turn off. There's a sensor you can buy to plug in there. Um, it's got a uh, runaway voltage. If the voltage is too high, if this is going bad, it'll shut this down. If the battery, if you plug it in into a battery and it gets into a situation, it'll turn it off. Lots of safety uh, mechanisms built in. Um, it's also got a max charge time. So for example, if this thing never wants to balance, I can set this up that let's say in 60 minutes, it'll shut off automatically so that it doesn't keep running. So lots of positives for this guy. This is a great field charger uh, to take if you're just trying to peak a couple packs or peak your goggle packs or whatever. Uh, it's definitely not gonna keep you in the air because if you're taking 15 or 20 minutes to charge each battery, you're gonna outrun it because we're burning these batteries at you know two or three minutes at a time when we're running these race quads. So 
uh, for my own purposes anyway. Um, it will charge up to 6S packs. It's going to take some time because those 6S six uh, packs that I use are large 4 and 5,000 milliamp packs uh, for jets. So it's going to take some time. I use a much bigger charge set for that. But this is an awesome charger for the price. As I said, it comes with a power supply and the charger and all these adapters uh, for $40 amazing cost amazing capability for the dollar highly recommended i'm going to use it at the field keeping my goggle packs all peaked out um in any of the small packs if i'm running the small uh quads this is ideal because this is 80 watts so i can put a lot of power into a little pack quickly i just can't do these larger packs very quickly so again i'll leave the link in the description hobby mate this is the hobby mate elite charger does up to 6s packs Thanks to Hobbymate for sending this over. Fantastic charger for the dollar. I highly recommend it. Um, get one if you need one, buy two. They're uh, for the dollar, amazing. I'm gonna actually buy a couple for some friends at the field that are just getting started. They don't know what to get on terms of chargers. This is a fantastic value. This guy just finished up, so thumbs up. There's your uh, live charge fill, just finished. Getting that bad cell uh, charged up. That's the alarm you get to tell you, hey, your battery's done, get another one on charge. So, again, Hobby Mate, thanks a lot, two thumbs up, get one while you can. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey guys, a little add on to the uh, first part of this review is I just uh, went ahead and charged up a second battery that I had, um, and all the cells were uh, well balanced. Um, and this time, the uh, charger took 13 minutes. I ran it at six amps again. Uh, so where it ended up zeroing in at is about 5 1 amps is where it was pushing juice into the battery And then it went into its full balancing cycle. So this battery took 13 minutes and 3 seconds to uh, to peak out and uh, All the cells are just at 4.2 a little bit over uh, in some cases Which is about the tolerance of the of the actual charger and uh, most chargers actually uh, So anyway, just a little bit extra on the uh, charge capability on that first pack you saw it was definitely dealing with a weak cell and it took time for it to get the balance there and it was slowing it down to get the job done so that's ideal and then one that had good cells all four cells were good it raged through it and got it done in less than half the time 13 minutes and three seconds so thumbs up hobby made elite excellent little charger two thumbs up thanks for watching folks